I wish you a very happy weekend and happy Palm Sunday on Sunday. It is a day celebrating the glorious triumphant entry of Jesus Christ into Bethlehem. Crowds were honoring him, waving palm branches and saying, Hosanna, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. The unfolding of our friendship with God is a never-ending revelation stretching into all eternity. You should daily say, Blessed is he that comes in the name of God. In Psalms 118, verse 28 and 29, it says, You are my God, and I will give thanks. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for God is good. God's love endures forever. There is a line from a children's song that is reassuring and familiar, especially to those watching in America. Little ones to him belong. We are weak, but he is strong. Well, that message applies to kids of all ages. We are weak indeed, but when we worship an almighty God, who meets our needs and answers our prayers, we are changed at depth. I had one of the greatest spiritual experiences of my life one night late at a hospital. I was so fatigued, I was visiting people, and I just hardly had energy. You, you know how that is, where you just drag yourself along. And I prayed, I said, God, touch me. I'm weak, but you are strong. And I tell you, within the next hour, I was infilled with so much power that literally I did not sleep that night. I was just alive. I had more energy than, than I have had probably since. When something like that happens, you know that you've been touched by God. And it can happen to you. We are weak, but God can come through with almighty power. When we sincerely call upon God, God is a never-ending source of strength and courage. When we're weary, God gives us strength. When we see no hope, God reminds us of God's promises. Whatever our circumstances that we're dealing with this weekend, God will protect us and care for us if we let God. If you're feeling weak or worried, allow a triumphant entry to come into your heart and your soul and your body, and your mind. Turn to God. Keep God at the very center of your life and rely upon God. And when you do, God will give you the direction and the strength that you need in the moment when you need it. God bless you.